Hi, this is Matt with GoolMarketingSoftware.com, and today I'm going to be talking about our new reprogrammed version of the OSClass Submitter software. This new software will submit classified ads to 17 different high traffic classified ad sites. It's been reprogrammed from the UBOT format into C Sharp, so it's much, much more stable. So, this is a whole new program. Um, it will be an, uh, uh, more expensive than the previous one. And so people who have purchased the UBOT version uh, can get a discounted link uh, to get this upgraded version. So this is how it works. It's very similar to what the way it worked before. You have three tabs. You have your automatic account registration, confirm accounts, and automatic ad submissions. Again, this software submits your ad ads up to 500 ads per session to 17 different high classified ad sites, all from one software with just a couple clicks of the buttons and we're going to show you exactly how that works so first thing you need to do is register accounts on all these sites so this software will register accounts for you so what you do is you put in your name either your business name or your personal name this will show up on the sites so whatever you want to be identified as this is what you put here if you want your business to be on the site your business name you put that if you want your personal name you put that that will be seen then you have your email and the password, and it's going to be the same email and password for all 17 sites. So once you have that, all you do is click start and you're going to watch. You see that little black window come up. That's fine. It's going to open up Chrome on your computer. So you do need to have Chrome installed on your computer, and this does work on Windows computers. So here we see it's filling in the name, the email and the password. It's going to click create automatically for you and it's going to register an account and then you are going to see that you're going to have like a little green strip that comes here that says that your, the user has been created an activation email has been sent so it's going to go through all 17 of these sites and register accounts on them for you using chrome browser on your windows computer so once you have registered all the accounts you're going to get all these validation emails so you have a choice you can let the software do it for you automatically or you can just take a few minutes and just like click each one of these links so probably just take you a few minutes to do it but this uh, manually might even be simpler but in any case the software will do it for you if you want so what you do is you come here and you put in the email that you use okay You put the password, you put your incoming mail server. You can get that from your provider, uh, your email provider for Gmail. It's pop.gmail.com and your incoming support, secure port 995 for mine and 995 also for Gmail. Also, you need for Gmail to allow less secure apps, allow less secure apps to allow less secure apps. You click on here, you turn it on. First, you have to be logged into your Gmail account. You come to myaccount.google.com slash less secure apps and you click on and then you will be able to access your email account with an outside app. So basically you come here. It can be a little tricky with Gmail. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to, to kick in. Um, so sometimes it really just might be easier just to click the links. But in any case, it will confirm it for you. So what you do is once you have the same credentials that you use to register the accounts, you come here and you put all your credentials, email, password, secure incoming mail server, bring port and you click start and it's going to open up Chrome. And again, this software uses Chrome that is on your computer and it will go and it's going to go start validating one account after another. There's one validated, another validated, another validated. Now, if you run it again and you've already validated it, it'll just be an error error here, like a page not found. So it's going around to each of the sites and it's going to confirm every single one automatically. So you can do it manually. It takes a few, a minute or so, or you can have the software do it. So after you've registered all 17 accounts, you've confirmed all 17 accounts. Next, you have the submissions. Now you can have as many projects as you want. So first thing you need to do is save a project. 
you choose your project name here. You put it. In, so whatever, however you want to identify your project that you're, you're submitting, that's what you put there. You could have 10 different affiliate programs and have 10 different names for them and, and you can save them all and submit ads for all of them. So you put the, the name of the project you want to submit. Um, you can submit up to 500, but the email, the password now here's for the categories. You have main category and sub category. For that, what you do is you come to freeglobalclassifiedads.com. It's one of the sites, but we use the category templates there for all the others. And you'll have a main category, say for example, business opportunities and work at home. It's case sensitive. So for the main category, you're going to put business opportunities, capital B, capital O. Say if you want work at home, you're going to do work at home, capital W, capital A, capital H. So you can see here, I have business opportunities exactly like on the site and subcategory. Uh, I'll put work at home. Now here you have your titles uh, and you can put as many titles as you want. You can use spin tax if you want. So for example, I have here, I've used spin tax. You have the curly Q brackets. And you have titles separated by pipe signs, each title separated by a pipe sign, um, will submit a, a random title whenever you submit. So it won't submit all this. It'll just pick one of the titles and submit that title. So spin tax allows you to submit, uh, random titles every time you submit. So you could have a hundred titles, three titles, one title, 10 titles in spin tax. You can look up spin tax, but that's basically how it works. It's the same across all software, not just ours. So you can put titles here, separate them with spin tax if you want or not. You could have a description. It can be an HTML code or it can be just a text ad. Now, if, HT, if you're using HTML code, click there and you can use HTML code. If you have keywords, put them down here. You could put uh, the keywords along with commas. If you have an address, you could do that phone optional area or neighborhood optional. You put your website link here. Now this is important because the software will create a clickable link. Even if you've chosen to have just a text ad here, it will hyperlink this website. So what this can be your affiliate link, uh, link for your offer. It could be your website. Whatever, whatever website or affiliate link you're promoting, you put it here, it will hyperlink it with a call to action. If you have a YouTube video, you take the share URL of the YouTube video, you put it here and it will embed the YouTube video on all the classified ad sites at the classified ads that you submit. So if you put 500 ads, you'll have 500 embedded YouTube videos. It'll help you get more views to your YouTube video, which in turn can help you get uh, ranked. You can do up to three pictures. You just find the picture um, on your hard drive and you upload it. It's optional. And there you go. You got three pictures. There we go. And now you're set. Then you click save and it's going to save this project. And now all you have to do is click start. Now, if you just have one project and you have 500 here, it will submit 500 ads. You don't have to submit 500. You, I'd suggest starting small, you know, start with 10 and get a feel for it, build up and get different projects. Don't just submit the same thing over and over again. It's better marketing to have a number of projects and start small and build up. But in any case, uh, if you have more than one project, like I have two here, I could have 10, I can click this and now every time the software submits to a random site of the 17 sites, it will submit a different project. So if I have 10 different projects here, it'll every time it'll submit a random different project to a random different site. And this kind of spreads out your marketing a bit. It looks more organic and generally it works better and allows you to promote a lot of different things all with just to click a one button once you have it set up. So it's a really good deal. So if you want to just promote the current project, unclicked. If you want to promote all your projects and have them submitted randomly, um, you click it. So now you're ready to go and you click start. You get that little black uh, screen that pops up. That's perfectly normal. Don't worry. Now it's going to go and log in to each of the accounts 
and it's going to log in and start submitting ads automatically through your Chrome browser. Now, you might want to consider getting a Windows VPS, which allow you to have a remote Windows computer and you just log in and set up the campaign and it goes and you can log out and it still goes even if you're logged out of it. Uh, here, it's going to select the category. Okay, the title. See, it shows work at home. Now we've got the title. Then it's going to put in the description. Then it'll go, I didn't put a price, so it didn't do anything there. Now it's going to put the pictures in. Then it'll, show you, it'll choose a different state and city within the United States. There's about 500 of them. So this software focuses on United States uh, and about 500 different cities within the United States. And it'll be a random one every time. So now we got the keywords and it's going to submit and it submits free ads, by the way. If you want to go in later and upgrade these ads, you can log into each of these individual sites and upgrade the ads. There's different options, but this will submit lots of free ads. That's what this software does. So you can see this uh, software just submitted the ad. It's all good. It's on the site and it's just going to continue going on to different sites and submitting your ad uh, on autopilot. You can be doing something else. So this is basically how the OS class submitter works. Like I said, it's written in C sharp. Uh, it's very stable, great program, put a lot of time into this and we've got 17 sites now, more will be coming. Um, so to learn more about this, click the link in the description below. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube or some uh, video hosting sites, uh, or you can uh, learn more below and uh, order this software, you will get it immediately. You'll be sent a, an email and a, uh, a code that you can use to unlock the software. You should get it immediately. Check for emails from info at coolmarketingsoftware.com. If you don't receive it, look in your spam folder then. If you don't receive it, let us know. We'll resend it to you. And you'll be good to go. So you can get this right away. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the software. This is Matt with coolmarketingsoftware.com.